Opening a bank account is a lot easier than most teenagers would think. It's really quite simple. And today, I'm going to take you through the two main kinds of bank accounts. The savings account and the checking account. Now these two types of accounts are radically different. A savings account is a place for your money to grow. Savings account incur interest. Interest is a multiplication of your money over time. Now a checking account is much more practical. You can use them day to day on anything. You can write checks from them obviously or you can connect them to a debit card and buy things online, in stores, wherever you'd like. Now before I give you guys the specifics on how to open up these bank accounts, let me tell you what you want to look for in a prospective bank. Now the first and most practical thing you want to look for in a bank is its location. You don't want to have to drive halfway across town just to take some money out of an ATM. After that, you want to make sure it's FDIC insured, meaning that if the bank goes, well, bankrupt, your money is safe, up to $100,000 per bank account. Last, you want to make sure the interest rate at this bank is high. The higher the interest, the more money for you. Now for the moment you've all been waiting for, how to actually open up your savings or checking account. It's really quite easy for a savings account. If you're under 18, bring an adult. You're also going to need a couple forms of identification. Your social security card is a must, a driver's license is great if you have one, and a school ID will work just fine too. Bring all these to your new accounts officer at your bank and ask for an application. Fill out the application and make the minimum deposit, which is usually $50 or $100. Turn all this in, and voila, you got yourself a savings account. Now, opening up a checking account is a bit trickier, especially if you're under 18, simply because most banks won't issue you one. Now, if you can find a bank that will, then that's great. You're well on your way. If you can't, which is more than likely, you'll need to open up a joint checking account, which is the same as a regular checking account, except your legal guardian will be able to withdraw money and write their own checks from it. But hey, look on the bright side. They can deposit money, too. Now that I've given you all the basics on how to open up a bank account, let's have a quick recap, shall we? Well, I hope I taught you guys something, or at least made you a little bit more aware of what you can do with your money, especially at our age. Have fun out there, and thanks for listening.